I'll be quick. I just need a few minutes to grab my things. The less time I spend here, the better. Spencer, where are you off to? Spencer's coming home with me. <laughs> I tell he is. He can make his own decision whether he wants to stay in this pit. I'll be damned if I allow you to put my great nephew's future in jeopardy. I already told you that things between me and my father were damaged beyond repair, and Esme being pregnant with his kid makes that even worse. I'm not gonna be in the same house as him. Please, Uncle Victor, I need you to understand. Got your things. Thank you. Sonny, take a seat. No, that's fine. Thank you, though. We both care about Spencer's future. I think we can help each other. Not even when hell freezes over. This is as difficult for me as it is for you. But I'm prepared to put my pride aside for Spencer's sake. Now, the big question is, are you? This has nothing to do with pride. Only reason I'm here is because of Spencer. So go ahead, you, you need to say something, say it. I came back to Port Charles with one goal to reunite my family. As a family man yourself, you must understand how important it was for me to strengthen my family against all threats. Now, I've done everything I can to bridge this chasm between Nicholas and Spencer, to try to show them how important it is for them to have a good father-son relationship. But I'm just hoping that where I failed, you, you might succeed. Spencer looks up to you. He listens to you. Use your influence with him to convince him that it's in his best interest to re repair his relationship with his father. You're asking for a favor after what you've done, no, Victor? No, no, no. I'm not asking you to do me a favor, Sonny. This is for Spencer. Do you think it's in Spencer's best interest to be around his father? I don't know if you know this, but there was a time where I was disappointed in Spencer. He was stalking Ava. But you know what? He was a kid. He was angry, he was hurt, he lashed out. Nicholas does not have an excuse. He has had every opportunity to be a, a father to his son, and he hasn't done it, Victor. I don't disagree with you. Nicholas seems incapable of, of repairing his, his trust of his son. But I do know Nicholas loves Spencer. Now, does he deserve to be cut out of his life? Can you honestly endorse that, given the state of affairs between you and your own son? Okay, this is where you, you, gotta, you gotta watch yourself, okay? You keep my family out of your mouth. Or that will be the last time you ever say anything. 